everyone it's Gail I am this is the first of about three videos that I'm going to do today um if you watched my last video uh with the little uh bag journal that I made for a gal I was at retreat for four days and so I thought I would do a few videos to show you some of the things that I've made um and so this is the first of the ones that I'm going to do do today and uh, get filmed and get uploaded. So one of my goals for the retreat was to get a bunch of ephemera made that I can just grab. And um, as I'm making journals, it's just it's there and ready. So I'll go through these piles. But first, I'm, I'm going to see if this will work, if I can show you my cool little box. Let's see. There it is. Um, it's got, it's a metal box and it's super 60s, 70s. My daughter's mother-in-law gave it to me for Christmas. I love, love, love it. And so it's got all these little, so you can see the metal dividers. And then it's got monthly dividers too. And so this is where I kind of keep my made ephemera stuff that's ready to go. Like I have some of, um, you know, the tags that I've been making and, and that kind of stuff. Anyway, so they live in here. So before I file it all away, I thought I would go through and show you a few things. So let's get started. I maybe make myself some room here. Um, first thing I wanted to show you is I took a bunch of just my little scraps of uh, coffee dyed cardstock and and that sort of thing and also paper and I'll show you what I did with those two but just made some little and everywhere from little tags those are my bunnies with the book I love them um, these little tags these are the little tags that I put on my extra goodies that I include with every sale on my Etsy shop so I had a bunch of paper that was just the right size, so got a bunch of those made ahead. And just took a few of my stamps. I love these um, Stamping Up stamps. These are old, so I don't even, I don't think they have them anymore, but made some of those, made a few Tiffany stamp ones, and then just some that basically the size of the leftover piece of card stock or actually these are uh, coffee dyed file folders anyway the leftover size just fit one of the stamps i had so that's what i did with the extra coffee dyed uh folders then i also took paper that was just you know randomly sized and some of just the ones that were little i just made into little things and all I did was corner punch them and maybe fold them. Um, these, these were kind of long skinny strips, but I'll be able to stick those in pockets and that kind of thing. And this one just flips. Yeah. So that's, that's just kind of paper that's already made and ready to tuck into a pocket. And then with some of the bigger ones, um, I, I pre-made some flips. So um, there's this little one, the retreat house where we were, the gal had all sorts of things to play with, some of which were punches. And one of the other participants gave me this velvet paper. And so I did use the corner punches that were at the retreat house and just made little tucks um, out of these. So. I punched a bunch of them and I've got them somewhere in all my stuff so I can make more of those. Here's just a layered butterfly with some, some pearls and that kind of thing. This one is has my kind stamp on it and this pom-pom um, trim is from a tattered dream. Um, this is... I got this little piece of muslin with the butterfly on it, I think at Michael's, and some little Hobby Lobby trim, and you know, just tried to use colors that I know I use in my in my books. So this one's a little taller and skinnier. Oh, look, I glued it. Go figure. 
So anyway, I'll get that apart. But so I have those all all ready to just pop into books. So that's awesome. Um, and then of course, uh, with this retreat, we did a little retail therapy and I think we were at Joanne's and I found these little, these are Martha Stewart, I think little tiny envelopes with little cards in them. So I just went through and, um, I had some punches like this. So I stamped that this was just a little scrap I had. I just made tucks a little pre-made flower. I just made tucks for it, the envelope flaps on all of those. So they are ready to just pop in to a journal too. So I think there was like a dozen of them. And so, yeah, so those are all ready to go. So those envelopes. And then I um, made some tiny envelopes out of a variety of materials. I had a gal give me, I don't know if this, I guess it sort of shows on the camera, this embossed paper. So I tried that and it makes kind of a, a cool soft envelope. This was also some paper that one of the other people gave me. And so I thought that was a nice neutral. Wanted to make a few out of um, music and text. So did that. And then here's a couple more out of those papers. And then these are um, envelopes made from the square do doilies in, uh, from a tattered dream on Etsy. So I just made up a few and got them all, all glued and everything. So there's a batch of tiny envelopes for me to use. And then let's see, then, then this pile, um, these are the uh, Crafty Irina uh, little, she calls them triple pockets, but depending on if you stick something up here and how you glue it on, it can be as many as five pockets. And I just um, decoupaged a napkin on that one. This one, I just put layered some lace and eyelash trim and a flower. Again, this one is just um, napkin. So those three, I actually did a little decorating on, but I made all of these and they're all inked up in various colors of ink. These are kind of fun. Um, these are from a children's book. So, um, so yeah, so they're, they're made up. They're just not decorated. So I have a little more decorating to do on those, but so I, I did all of those and then I, Played some with, once again, the, um, I think Toir uses par parchment paper, but, or tracing paper. I use, um, she uses tracing paper. I use parchment and it's just, it's the parchment that I put under when I'm coffee dyeing and then it, it takes some of the coffee dye. So that's one of those. Here's another one that's got the napkin decoupaged on. And, um, and then just embellish the top a little. And then I did this little tag, which I need to put over in my other stuff. I'll show you in a minute. And then just this one. So just made up a couple tags ahead of time. And then this big old stack of stuff, which is where I wanna put this, um, this one in, is my next journal that I'm going to work on is um, the ballet. It's the Digital Papers by Artie Mays. I'll give you a little quick preview. I have the cover done. This is going to be the cover of my next journal. It's fabric. It's got about mm, maybe a three quarters, one inch spine. So I have the covers done. Papers are dyed and everything, but that's as far as I've gotten so far. So. I thought I would do some ephemera for, you know, in preparation of doing that journal and just have a lot of the ephemera done ahead of time. And of course, with the retail therapy, I have to show you this. Um, we went to a shop that had awesome, awesome napkins. And so you'll see that I've used some of these. So like there's this one. It's, um, I don't know if it's Michael or Michelle Design Works. I've, I have some other of these napkins and I love them. This was the other one I used. 
And those two went really well with the colors for this next journal, but I'll show you the other ones I got. This one, love that. Love this flower and love the, the bird nest. And then I got this one that's more yellows and oranges, little pink. So, um, and then some little ones, I got this one and I got this one because, you know, you can't just buy one thing of napkins. You have to buy a half a dozen, which seems to be my rule of thumb anyway. I don't know. So anyway, I had these brand new napkins kind of burning a hole in my pocket. So I got busy and made some ephemera for the ballet journal. So this is just a little glassine envelope and I decoupaged one of those napkins on that um and then again with the napkin this is a little library card and I loved how that turned out so that the the butterfly is right there but then you pull it out and the whole poppy is there so made that crafty Irina pockets I did a few and again just decoupaged the napkins in strategic spots on the on the pocket here's a bigger one um this was one of the napkins i just had a piece left over so i just decoupaged it on a uh, just on a tag and um this one on the guest check isn't that so pretty oh i love poppies so there's that um oh this is just a coffee dyed envelope and i put some leftover pieces of the napkin on the on here so I can put that on a page and then on the back and then this glassine bag um, again I just decoupaged that napkin on there so did that and then I got busy with some um, tsunami rose ephemera and put coffee dyed paper on the back and sewed it on so of course like I say this is a ballet themed journal that I'm going to be working on so I have all these little pieces of ephemera that I did different decorative stitches and stuff on and um, this one's so so goofy look at that um, but then these sweet little girls and then I, this, uh, some of these will probably be in the ballet journal, but they're just in general too, is I just took a bunch of coffee dyed index cards and put, and sewed trims on them since I had my sewing machine out. So this is the trim from A Tattered Dream. Um, and then I just used some vintage, like that's coffee dyed um, lace on those ones. And then just, just different ones and different stitches and stuff. And then I can put those all in my little box and they will just be ready to grab and stick in a journal when I have a spot that needs one. So, um, so that, that is what I did ephemera wise at the retreat. I am so excited to just have this big store of stuff to, um, to pull from and I do like to make my ephemera like that in kind of in batches but I haven't done it in a long time and and so so I hope you enjoyed looking through I have some more show and tells coming um, so I think I'll have let's see probably probably two more videos to show you things that I finished up as well. I had done, a, as you know, from my previous journal, I did a journal for one of the gals that was a leader. And then another gal is going to Ireland this week. And so I made her a traveler's journal, but just didn't get it filmed before I gave it to her. So it was a productive four days and so much fun. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.